beautiful surprise. <laughs> this is beautiful. An old coach pulling an old bull's wagon. Wow. Hello. How's it going? All right, pretty good. How's it going with you? Oh, it be any Is this uh, what they call the fishbowl? Yeah. Uh, the fishbowl style buses? Well, that that would be like a GMC bus. This is not a GMC. No, it's a flexible. Oh wow. Yeah, but it, it is really similar to a fishbowl. The fishbowl have two windows. The windshield reminds me of one. That's yeah. why I was like, is that it? But it, it look a little shorter. Okay, yeah. flexible. Yeah. yeah. It's a flexible bus. Wow, what a beauty. Oh, thanks. Man, I was passing on the highway and I saw it. And uh, I was like, man, I got to check that out. I actually make videos of, of buses, conversions, you know. Yeah. And I have a couple of my own. You I want, have some MCI. You want to check, check it out if you want. Oh, that's cool. Can, yeah. can we make a video? Oh, or? yeah, sure. Yeah? yeah? All right, cool. Let me park right here in front of you. Your dogs are all cool? Oh, yeah, they're really cool. I'm Daniel. I'm uh, Manny. Manny? Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I have a, I'll show you the, the channel in a little bit. Uh, but I have an MCI. I don't know if you know the, oh, yeah. the, the MCI. Uh, yeah, I've had, I had an MCI Challenger. Okay, for, okay. It was a 71 kind of thing. Yeah, I have a 92. And uh, I've been working on it and stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, the flexible. That's a 1966. A 66. Yeah. yeah, it's about the same year model of the fishbowl, the GM that I was thinking about. Yeah, the, fi the 5104s or something like that. Or, yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So yeah, I, I almost had one of those, but. So do you have a, a diesel engine? Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a Cummins in it. A Cummins, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Cummins with an Allison 545. And uh, you're traveling through the country? Yeah, we just went from uh, California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana. Oh, That's the dream. Uh, across I have. North Dakota, Wisconsin, wow. to Ohio, down to Washington, D.C., Virginia, then up to Maine, oh, oh, and New man. York, and New Hampshire, and then down to West Virginia, and then over to Illinois, and then we came down to New Orleans. We just left New Orleans. A few days ago. That is so cool. That's the dream. That's why I bought one. I'm selling my house right now so I can finally get everything going. Yeah. But that's the dream, man. That's cool that y'all living it. Yeah. yeah this. I've had this thing for seven years. Seven years? Yeah. 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 Some guy gave it to me. And was like, really? Yeah. He just. Wow. <laughs> hey, Bill, Cal. Ooh, that's yeah, cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we do a free food kitchen out of it, do the rainbow gatherings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Yeah, I, I, I do. It's kinda, you know, it's probably a little bit trash right now. But a lot of times, I, I'll take uh, videos of people passing by here, and they tell me that they're like, "Oh, you didn't get an inside." <whistles> Hello. Come on, Bo. Go. Come on. That is so cool. When you like dead tour, fish tour, string cheese. Go on, load up. Go on, get in your hole. So you have a... Uh, oh, down, go. Uh, go on, get in your hole, hippo. Oh, that's cool. They have their under the bed. I thought about that for, for our kids. 
making the the main bed higher and then the kids in the bottom but you got the, the doggies so, okay. so did you have to work on them, some of this or you already have it already well, it, converted it came like this pretty mm -hmm. much except like they have these stupid benches built up here in the front oh okay so i tore those out and now yeah. i'm putting a folding bed and the couch cushion and I built these little boxes under here. Storage, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a big wheel wells under here, though. They're huge wheel wells, so it's like there's not much you can do with the space. Right. Okay. I uh, see. I if see. If it was me, and I designed it, I would put the kitchen a little more forward. Right. Okay. And turn that area into like a dinette or whatnot. Yes. But my my other bus yeah. back in California it has a it has a, a dinette and bunk beds and stuff. It's a gilling. A gilling. Wow, that is cool. We get this dashboard, man. This is cool. <laughs> I bet this dashboard is original. Nah. No. 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 It's a uh, converted. Yeah, they 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 <laughs> took out all the dashboard. And okay. Some of the switches. Yeah, some of the switches. That's original. The whole dashboard looks more like that. Yeah, okay. On the side there. Right. My plan, they made 50 of these buses in 1966. Only 50? Yeah, 50 of the 30 foot models. Wow. So you got a, a super classic. Super, yeah, super yeah, collectible. Yeah. Those are, is that your horn or uh, uh, also the, the high blinkers. beams? The blinkers. Yeah. The blinkers. That's right. I have one. One of my MCI, I couldn't figure out the blinker. And it is a, a foot switch, yeah. left and right. But then my other one is a horn, uh, is the air horn is is oh. down there, and then I have a regular horn up here. Yeah, my, my other bus has an air horn down there. Wow, that was just so cool. I got the whole setup. I make bus videos. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I just love y'all's a uh, bus. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. And it's got king size bag back there. Is that king size? Okay. And then some cabinets over the engine. Yeah. The guy who uh, built the bus was uh, he worked at, at the Ames <laughs> Research Center in NASA. Okay. Oh, okay. In uh, San Jose, and he was an air, airplane builder. They skinned the whole bus. They like skinned the whole bus. They like these big windows were in the back, and the little windows oh. were in the front. It had. It used to have like all these windows that went along the, yes. the top there. Yes. And, uh -huh. and they cut. They took all those out. They took the drip sheet rails metal, off, everything. Smoothed it down. And, yeah. That is so cool. Let me check out some of the outside in the back. Oh, that beat that um. Is that the bus? Uh, the Volkswagen bus in the back? Yeah. Wow. What? No, you're you're not in the video. <laughs> You got the sight on in. Yeah, see the see see where the drip rail stopped up there? Yes. Above the door. Uh-huh. So it had back doors on it, it had another door on the other side. Right, they for, shaved all that. For the it. passengers, they right? Skin the whole thing. Yeah. The motor's uh, it's got it's got the big old Cummings 555 in here. Ooh, goodness. So is this one the uh, V6 or V8? It's a V8. V8. Wow, that's a lot of power for this little bus. Yeah, it's the biggest motor you could fit in these things. They wow. they usually would run like a 6V71 in here. I was expecting it to be the other way around, the way they did it in the older uh, in the old MCIs. Uh, MCIs, yeah, the with the transmission at 45 yeah. degree. I didn't expect. It to be this way. Wow. Yeah, no, it's cool. real easy to work on too. I mean, you pull the transmission yeah, out like pulling a Volkswagen motor. And like, oh, it's real easy. Man, I was not expecting this. This is cool. This is awesome. Yeah. Did it already come with the hitch, or you have to build it? Oh yeah, it, it came. It came with all came this with stuff. It. It was, I couldn't believe it. The guy just gave it to me. He's like. It's amazing, man. He, he's like, well, you know, I bought the bus in 1992, and I drove it around for a year, and I blew up the transmission, so I put a new transmission in it, and then drove it around another year, and I blew up the motor, 
So I put a new motor in it, and then, well, then I put it into storage, and that was in 95, and, and yeah, it's 2012. He's like, yeah, I finally got it out of storage, and the tires were bad, so I put new tires on it, wouldn't start it, I put new batteries in it. I mean, it came with, like, $8,000 in receipts. Yeah. So I drove it over to the transmission shop to see if it, yeah. they could service the transmission, because, uh -huh. well, you know, I know I just did the torque converter, and I didn't really change the transmission. And uh, they told him at the transmission shop his motor was bad. And he's like, no, my motor isn't bad. I know this. And he took it to the shop across the street from me. And I seen it and heard it coming down the street. And I was like, what's that? You know, and I looked over there and I seen this thing. Drive by and pulled into my parking lot. And I like ran up to the guy. I'm like, wow, nice bus. He's like, oh, you like this old thing? <laughs> oh wow! Two weeks later, he came back and knocked on my bus because uh -huh. I, I live in. Li you were living, living in it, bus, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's all like, "You need to talk me out of this thing." Man, and I was like, "Really?" And I'm like, "You don't want it. It's a piece of shit." And he looked at me and he says, "You're right. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> what will you give me for it?" And I'm like, "I ain't got no money. I just got I got a warehouse full of stuff. You yeah, all the stuff go through my warehouse. Take whatever you want." Wow. So he walked through my warehouse, took a wood stove. <laughs> tandem bike and a wow. projector and like a few, you know a few things maybe equivalent to like two thousand dollars yeah okay you okay know? yeah yeah and he signed the title over to me and i was wow. like all right you know and so wow. like i was at the cummins shop and i asked the guys i was like well what's wrong with it because he like he took it to cummins uh -huh. and they're all my friends and they're all like I don't know, you know, we haven't even looked at it. And I'm like, all right, well, I went over and started it up, drove it over to my parking spot, and I'm like, all right, well, this is cool. And uh, I'm like, well, what, what would you do? And he's like, well, you know, I changed the oil and see what it's doing. He said, the guy told me that the oil was filling with diesel fuel. Okay, yeah, and it kind of mixed in or something. And, and uh, so I was like, all right, so I changed the oil and drove it down to Arizona. I was like, well, it seems like it runs fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> When I pulled the oil out the first time, I pulled it out, and the oil looked like water. It was crystal clear. Wow. Crystal clear. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's not right. Yeah. You know? And yeah. Uh, so when I got back from Arizona, I checked the oil, and I'm like, wow, it's crystal clear. Uh-huh. I'm like, all right, well, I drove up to Montana. Yeah. Came Hello. Back. The oil just started turning a hinge of dark. That motor's brand new. Like, he wasn't lying. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's cool. Man. See, we've been out and mudding and having <laughs> <laughs> fun. That is so cool, man. Wow. I just, I love these things. Anything that's old school, you know? Like, be so small. That's really funny. Man. I love how there's no interior. I love it, just the bare sheet metal. Oh man, that is so amazing. Little vents. We were doing this uh, caravan earlier this year. I had a 1947 white bus. Uh-huh. Volkswagen welded to the roof. 
I've seen people do it. And then we had a, a 19, I don't remember the year, it was just a gas or GMC school bus. That was a lot of fun, doing that caravan across, That's across cool. the, the northern U.S. We, we were doing a Great the Dead tour. Uh-huh. Okay. So, like we do, like you know, all kinds of things. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's about having fun, right? Well, what else are you gonna do with your life? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we do it. This is what, this is this is why we do it. Yeah, know? yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, like I said, I'm planning on doing it. I don't know how long. You know, I got I got little kids and yeah. I'm a wife, but. Um, you know, we're gonna try it, you know. We're there's gonna... there's a lot of a, you know, a lot of a lot a lot you can do. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, the, one of the hardest things be about being on the road is just being able to to ha get the money together to stay on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, I can imagine. That's the, that's I can the, imagine. The biggest one. You know, these buses right. cost you a thousand dollars in a second. Yeah. Know? Oh yeah. <laughs> a tow. A tow will get you. You know. That's right. Check out my uh... locomotive and remote control motor. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, man. Loving it. Loving this tour. <laughs> yeah, but we just did. I left uh, June 2nd uh, this trip. So June 2nd? I've been on the road since June 2nd. Wow. Wow. The only person that I had with me that I left California uh -huh. was that kid on the bike out there. Really? Yeah. Everyone else just yeah, been I hopping just, in. I just pick them up along the way. That's cool. <laughs> you know, they all help move it. You yeah. Know? That's, yeah. That's part of it. It's like, you know. You, a team. Yeah, yeah. Build a team that things and, and does what yeah. you love doing. Yeah, definitely. And like, you know, I mean, I like doing free stuff. You know, there's a lot yeah. of free stuff you can do. Yeah. You go camping out in the National Forest. You drive that bus out there. You got a free house, free place to park two weeks. Right. Right. You're good. You know, you do, do rainbow. I got all this rainbow kitchen stuff in here. Where I'll go out into the woods and we'll get we'll gather like, you know, a hundred people out in the woods. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, you know, I do a kitchen yeah. out of here. So, like, we've got cabinets full of food. And, yeah. You know, yeah. Big pots and pans and big stoves and just cook a bunch of food and hang out. And man, that is cool. And so, that's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. Definitely. Manny, I'm going to go around the bus and I'm going to head out of here. I really appreciate okay. meeting you and you showing me yeah. your 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 projects here, man. Your, your lifestyle. That's cool. Thank you, Manny. You yeah. have a good one, man. Yeah, Be too. safe. All right. I'm leaving. I'm leaving y'all alone in a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Nineteen sixty-six flexible, and uh, a Volkswagen from the fifties. Isn't this amazing? It was such a pleasure to meet Manny and his conversion. Look at this guy.